Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AFWE, episode 19. Oh my gosh, interrupting me. The following contest is a tag team creek fight. Introducing first, Keith Lee and the gladiator champion, Ricochet. And their opponents, the team of Vader and MJF. Oh my God, over the top rope. And now Ricochet and Keith Lee pounding onto MJF and Vader. And now looking for some innovative offense as Ricochet flipping and Keith Lee flipping onto their opponents. Is now Ricochet sliding into the ring. He has a baseball bat, ladies and gentlemen. And Keith Lee setting up a table. MJF sliding into the ring, but MJF gets caught right to the face. In a power slam by Keith Lee. Now Ricochet has a skateboard jumping on him. Oh my god! What innovative offense! The sequence! But Ricochet, he hurt his head. MJF all the way up on the top rope. Stomps his head into the table. Through the table goes Ricochet and MJF. Is now Keith Lee trying to escort Ricochet out of the arena, saying, I can do this myself. You have to go get rest. But Vader pushing off Keith Lee. And now MJF locking in the salt of the earth. And Vader all the way on top of the stage. Oh my god, salt of the earth still locked in. Oh my god. Ricochet is dead. Ricochet must have broken ribs. All of them. And now Vader picking up Ricochet. And he's looking to toss him into the ring. What strength. The strength of Vader. As MJF still locking it in. Wait. Vader has a sledgehammer. No, my God. No, no. Oh, my God. A Vader bomb onto the tip of the sledgehammer. The salt of the earth still locked in as the cover. And that's it. Here are your winners. The team of MJF and Vader. What a hard-hitting opener, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, Ricochet and Keith Lee could not get the job done after that head injury by Ricochet right there and the stomp through the table. It just wasn't enough. And BAM! The corkscrew splash. And the Vader bomb onto the sledgehammer tip. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have our next confirmed match for AFWE Royal Rumble. It's going to be Ricochet versus MJF for the Gladiator Championship. Now, ladies, I bring you a contract signing for your championship match at the Royal Rumble. You've already signed the contract. Now you can get some few words in. Bianca, you can start. Okay, Alexa? Becky? No, Becky, please don't. Please don't. Oh my god, no. No. Don't go on top of the table. No, this is supposed to be peaceful. Alexa, no. Oh my god. No. What have you done? You guys are supposed to have a match. Not fighting right now. This always happens. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your AFWE Royal Rumble theme, Pieces by Des Rocks. You can listen now on iTunes and Spotify. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we must turn our attention to the open challenge for the television championship. The following contest is an open challenge for the television championship. Introducing first, the television champion, John Cena! Who 
Here's his opponent. Oh, we know that music. And his opponent, Xavier Woods. Kofi Kingston challenged John Cena last week. Now Xavier stepping up. Will Xavier Woods get the job done for the new day? Or will John Cena get his fourth defense? As the bell is rung and we're off. Collar and elbow tie up. Test of strength. Now Cena looks to have the upper hand maybe. A little bit. Suplex position. The waist lock off the ropes. And now the German suplex by John Cena. And flips it over to a stock up pin. But a kick out by Xavier Woods. And now Cena, what does he have in mind? Looking for a back suplex, but Xavier rolls out of the way. Jumps over Cena, chain wrestling, but a stomp to the back. And now a single-legged Boston Crab. A single-legged Boston Crab. But Xavier with a standing shooting star press. And now picking up Cena. Maybe for a suplex. No, Cena's too big, but a drop kick. A drop pick by Woods and a flipping senton. And now a spike rana. A reverse spike hurricane rana. Now Xavier with a drop kick to the back of the head. Xavier in control. Will he pick up this W? Oh, choke. A choke hold. A choke hold. A sleeper. Will John Cena get out of this? John Cena looks to be fading. He's fading. He's fading. But now Cena has him up. And blasts him into the corner. Now Cena going up top. Look for superplex. Off the top rope. Cena has the momentum in his way. Now he's looking for the five knuckle shuffle. And it connects. All he has to do is hit the AA. And he's done with this. Kofi cheering on Xavier. Tell him to get out of it. But I think it's too late buddy. I think it's too late. AA. Cover. And that's it. Here is your winner and still television champion, John Cena. What a match. And what a showcase by Xavier Woods. So close, yet so far. That superplex, the turning point of the match right there. Marcina was able to hit the five knuckle shuffle and the AA. Both New Day members down. Will Cena lose his title at the Royal Rumble? Please welcome the Million Dollar Men. And now, we have just learned that Adam Cole is out with an ankle injury while training. They don't feel like a million dollars. What? Why are they looking at Ted DiBiase? Oh my god! Oh my god! They're turning on Ted DiBiase! Ted DiBiase sent to the outside. The shield? The shield? What do you mean? Oh my God! John Moxley is here. I'm marking out. Yeah. John Moxley is here in AFWE. Yes. Oh my god! As the shield forms on AFWE turf! Oh no, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? John Moxley going after Ted DiBiase! Ted is helpless! No, he's hooking him! Paradigm shift! John Moxley is here! The following is 
a tag team match. Introducing first, Matt and Nick, the Young Bucks. And there's no entrance theme needed for the White Family. Oh my god! RKO! RKO! Braun Strowman! RKO! Catching them out of midair! Trying to attack them! You can't attack the Wyatt family, especially if a viper's there. We'll be back after this short break. It's that time of the evening. If you are not following my social media accounts, you should go follow my social media accounts. They are on screen now. As here we go, tag team action. Oh, he's hurt. Wait, no RKO, oh my God. Super kick out of midair. Super kick out of midair by Matt Jackson. Now, super kick, but Randy Orton made the tag to Strowman. And Strowman charging after Matt Jackson. Now, belly to belly suplex to Matt. Now, he's going after Nick. But look at Matt. He's crawling to, he's crawling to Braun. Getting the ankle. He's got the ankle and making the tag to Nick Jackson. And a springboard crossbody sends Randy Orton through my announcer's desk on the outside. And a super kick. And loading up another one. That could be it. This could be quick. That's it. Oh, my God. What an upset. What an upset. But no, no. Randy Orton can't let anyone celebrate when they beat the Wyatt family as the lights are out. As a fiend. The fiend. Looking for a Yurinagi to Nick Jackson in an RKO. RKO. Caught him, Sister Abigail. The Wyatt family lay out the Young Bucks. contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle has a lot of steam going into this match, picking up a win over Randy Orton. Will he get another win against John Morrison? And his opponent, John Morrison, a former rival of Riddle, the Prince of Parkour, John Morrison. Now the ref wasting no time ringing the bell as looking for a test of strength. Test of strength by Riddle and Morrison. Morrison jumping over Riddle, has him up on his shoulders, but Riddle flipping him over, a pin attempt. But now John Morrison look for a German suplex, but Riddle trying to escape to the outside. But John Morrison overpowers him into a German suplex. Now has him up and drives him into the turnbuckle. And now going back into the corner, gaining some momentum and a knee right to the ribs. And now looking to go for it again. Another knee right to the ribs. And Matt Riddle's teetering. He's going to fall into the stairs. No, super kick onto the stairs. Oh my God, the pain in Matt Riddle's back must be immaculate. It's John Morrison looking to springboard to the outside. Corkscrew! What a corkscrew splash onto the steel stairs. 
And now Morrison looking to pick up Riddle. But Riddle outpowering him onto his shoulders. Fireman's carry slam into the steel. Into the steel stage. Now dragging Morrison back into the ring. Get him back into the ring. Riddle looking for a knee to the back of the head. A knee to the back of the head. And now Riddle looking for a DDT. But John Morrison outpowering him. John Morrison's too happy for him. But a DDT. Flipping Morrison over into the rope. And now Riddle drop kick to the back of the head. And Morrison is sent to the outside. Now Riddle gaining momentum. Looking to go for a suicide dive. But John Morrison moved out of the way. John Morrison moved out of the way. And a standing shooting star press on the outside to the back of Matt Riddle. And now slamming him into the apron. The hardest part of the ring I will mention. As now John Morrison looking to go up top. 450 splash. But he got caught. He got caught in fireman's carry. Bro to sleep. And now final flash. This is Riddle's opportunity. This is the opening. This is the opening. Look for the floating bro. It connects. Cover. One, two, three, and that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Matt Riddle. What a huge victory over a past rival for Matt Riddle here tonight. Matt Riddle has so much momentum going into Royal Rumble. Bro, 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 bro! It's official, a two out of three falls match for the Tag Team Championships. The Brothers of Destruction versus the Viking Raiders. Takes guts to keep trying and trying just to fall down, but you get back up again. The Viking Raiders have fell down so many times, but got back up again. And now, they're going after the Tag Team Championships that their arch-rivals, the Brothers of Destruction, hold. Will they pick up the win, or will it be the same old story? The following is a 3v3 Tag Team Match. Introducing first, Cody Rhodes. Shinsuke Nakamura and the AFWE Champion, Drew McIntyre. Bullet Club Worldwide a little bit too early, but they're taking their jackets off and throwing them at Rhodes. They're throwing them at Rhodes. And now the match has started. They're on their corners. V trigger by Omega. V trigger by Kenny Omega. Could this be over quick? One winged no. No. Cody getting out of it. Now Kenny feels some type of way. Coupe Canelo over the top rope to Cody Rhodes. Now send him up. V trigger into the stage. Oh my god, they just broke the stage. They just broke the stage. It's now Kenny Omega back into the ring, making the tag to Finn Balor. And Cody knows the assignment, tagging in Drew McIntyre. The face off, but no. We're not getting it tonight, but a belly-to-belly -belly suplex by Drew McIntyre to AJ Styles as Drew tagging out. Oh my God, cross body to the outside to Finn Balor. Drew McIntyre wants to fight Finn Balor, but Finn Balor turning him over. But wait a minute, what's AJ? What's AJ and Shinsuke doing up top? Oh my God. A Canadian Destroyer off the top rope into the outside onto Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor. It's now the face off, but no, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes just wants to beat down Kenny Omega for replacing him. Looking for a 1916 Balor. No, Death Valley Driver. Death Valley Driver by McIntyre. But Kenny, oh my God, V Trigger to the outside. A V Trigger to the outside. 
Oh my god! All men are down! Except for Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles, the two legal men, Kinshasa, no, caught to the Styles Clash! Caught with a Styles Clash cover! But Nakamura stays in it! Shinsuke Nakamura is still in this match as AJ Styles looking for the phenomenal forearm off the top rope, but gets caught! Caught with a Kinshasa! Cover him! Two, three, that is it! <laughs> Here is your winner, the team of Shinsuke Nakamura, Cody Rhodes, and the AFWE champion, Drew McIntyre. As what a slobber knocker main event, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute barn burner to close out the show. An absolute brawl. But the AFWE champion, Cody Rhodes, the abandoned Bullet Club Worldwide member, and then Shinsuke Nakamura pick up the win. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you at the Royal Rumble.